Aleluya. So this is what the word of God says in Romans 8 verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes. First to the Jew, then for the Gentile. So it's so great to worship the name of our God here on the city square here in Tel Aviv. And Emmanuel, you did it before at Jaffa Port. So what is your hope for this moment, for this place? I mean, the previous, the previous time we did the worship, it was the beginning of the war actually. It was after, right a few days after October 7th and we were in Jaffa Port and we just went to the streets and we just had faith in God that nothing would happen and just went out and uh, we worshiped God and we sang and many people said um, that, that, that were there, they said that the songs and the music gave comfort because many people were still not even going outside of their houses and it was an opportunity just to encourage and to bless and to show uh, the light of God to all the people around hallelujah so this is what the word of God says in Genesis 12 verse 3 it says I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all people on earth will be blessed through you and that's why we say we love Israel we love the Jewish community and we say it worldwide just write it down in the comments I love Israel it's a good time to write it down in the comments because I go to the worshipers and they always have a word of hope in this time hallelujah I just want to be a blessing in this place and we're living here and we know that God puts us here for a reason we don't know why but we're here in this place we just want to be a blessing to those around us to our communities to our neighbors to our friends to everyone that we're praying for you we're here singing over you singing blessings only blessings from above only blessings from above there's something here that is greater than all of us that is God I mean and he has the last word and he has all of the control and he is watching over us watching over Israel protecting us he is the lion of Judah and he fights for us he's the same God like we're gonna sing next he's the same God yesterday today and forever what he did back then he can do today what he wants to do tomorrow we don't even know it's beyond our imagination what he wants to do so God we want to see that we want to see what we've been praying for and even beyond our expectation and beyond our imaginations we want to see what you can do father we want to see what you want to do God over this land and over your people bless Israel bless your people God let them feel that they are not alone that you are with them the Lion of Judah this is not our battle alone he is fighting for us he is with us we thank you God hallelujah thank you so much Daniel
bless. You the Lord Lord bless. Is Hallelujah. So this is our prayer here on this square. You can see it over there. At night, it's beautiful. Bring them home. 
bring them home you see it there bring them home it's beautiful at night bring them home so i want to ask ramin and yasmin if you could pray for the for israel in this time of need ramin you can come over here and yasmin so ramin you are from iran you are from israel so could you pray in persian in your own language for the for israel and also for the release of the hostages you want to share as well that's always good hallelujah Shalom to Israel. Uh, I'm Ramin. I'm from Iran. Uh, Yeshua, who Hamashiach, changed my life. I was told to hate the Jews, to hate Israel. Every morning in the school, they told us to say death to Israel, death to America. And when I was 19 years old, a Jewish rabbi changed my life. And his name is Yeshua. And he is the Mashiach. This is a testimony that God turned an enemy to a friend. And now in Iran, millions of people coming to Yeshua. Yeshua is the perfect Passover lamb. He is the Yom Kippur sacrifice. He became the substitute for our sins. He took away our infirmities. Isaiah 53, Ishayahu Nun Gimel says that Yeshua took our sins, He took our infirmities, He bore our sicknesses, and by His stripes, we were healed. Yeshua took our place so we could become the sons and daughters of God. I was a lost Muslim man. I was full of hate and anger and bitterness. And it was Yeshua, Jesus Christ, that changed my life. In Iran right now, millions of people becoming Christians coming to Yeshua. And Ishayahu said that he will be a light to the Gentiles. And I was a Gentile. And Yeshua changed my life. And in Iran, millions of people now love Israel because of Yeshua. They are coming to Yeshua. So my message to Israel is we love you and we pray for hostages to be free. And the regime in Iran, the Islamic regime in Iran does not represent the people of Iran. That Islamic regime has taken a nation hostage. And I pray that Iran and Israel become friend again. And the sons of Cyrus become friend with the sons of Abraham in the name of Yeshua. Amen. And I want to pray over Israel for a revival, for an awakening that people of Israel would seek the God of Israel again. That they would come to the Lord, to the God who loved them and founded this nation and gave this nation as a promise. Father, in the name above all names, in the matchless and mighty and holy name of Yeshua, we come before you, Father, God of Abraham, God of Isaac and Jacob, Elohe Avraham, Ishaq, Yaakov. We love you, Lord. We thank you for Israel that gave us the Bible, that gave us the prophets, the oracles of God. We thank you for Israel who gave us hope that Messiah, our Savior, is the Jewish Messiah who came to this world, in this country, and laid his life down as a sacrifice so we could be forgiven. We thank you, Father. We bless the nation of Israel, Father, from Golan Heights all the way to Elad from Judea, Samaria, all the way to Tel Aviv, to Netanya, Naharia, Haifa, Ashdod, Ashkelon. Father, pour out your Holy Spirit upon Israel. Bring a revival, Father God, that the people of Israel would seek their God again, Father God. That they would recognize that Yeshua is the Mashiach. That they would see Him whom they pierce, Father God. That their eyes be open, Father God, that Yeshua loves them. That Christians love them. Christians love and support Israel. Father God, I pray in the name of Yeshua for Iran and Israel to be free and to be friends again, Father God. I pray in the name of Yeshua, you bring down the Islamic regime in Iran, Father God. Destroy that evil regime, Father God. And let Israel and Iran become friends again. That again from Tel Aviv, there will be flights from Tel Aviv to Tehran in the name of Yeshua, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, that these two nations of Iran and Israel are two sisters, two brothers, Father God, two pillars of hope in the Middle East. In the name of Yeshua, Father, we thank you. And we bless the nation of Israel, Father. We thank you for Israel, Father God. We pray for revival and awakening, Lord. We pray for hostages to be free. You said in the book of Zechariah that you will bring out the captives from the waterless pits. Father God, restore the captivity of Zion, Father God. For your namesake, O oh Lord, for your namesake, deliver the hostages, Father God. Protect the IDF soldiers in the north and in the south, Father God. In the name of Yeshua, we thank you, Father. 
We praise you, Father God. In the name of Yeshua, as an Iranian, I bless the nation of Israel. In Yeshua's name, Amen. Amen. Let's sing this beautiful song of the return of sons and daughters.
אתה מצילנו בידם, אין אחד אחר. תמיד נשאר נאמן, ואין אחד אחר כמוך. רק הקדוש ברוך הוא מצילנו בידם. והקדוש ברוך הוא מצילנו, מצילנו מידם. והקדוש ברוך הוא מצילנו, מצילנו מידם.
So this is what we are going to do. We put the two choir mics, we put them here in the middle, and you can come from your instruments and just...
So a few minutes ago, a man came up to me and he said, I go to the police, you will be arrested. And the first thing I said, was we always try to come into the prisons. And it's a hard thing to preach the gospel in prisons. So I was looking for a way to come into the prisons and to preach the gospel. So to be arrested is never a problem. Actually, the Holy Spirit fell on someone who was a guard in the prison. And that's where the gospel of Jesus Christ went out over all the regions. So this is what the word of God says. When they heard this, they raised their voices. Together in prayer to God, sovereign God, they said, you made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. And you spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant, our father David. Why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed one, against Adonai. And that's why we praise the name of Yeshua, our God, Adonai, who is in the heaven but also here on earth. That's why his name is Savior. That's why we praise his name. And that's why we will continue to praise his name. Also, when the, when the nations rage against us, that's why we prayed for the hostages to be released. We love Israel. And that's why we love the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Hallelujah. So let's continue to worship his name. Praise the name of Yeshua. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Yeshua. What a wonderful name. What a wonderful name.
higher with the music and sing holy forever yes you Hear your people sing holy to the King of Kings. Holy, you will always be holy, holy forever. Your is the highest your name is the greatest your name stands above and all of all thrones and dominions all power and position your name stands above and all your name Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh to the King of King.
you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory. Is the kingdom yours? Is the power yours? Is the glory forever? Amen. Yours is the kingdom yours? Is the power yours?
זה מי שאתה, 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 זה מי Praise the name of our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. So I want to ask you, uh, Emmanuel, to uh, end with uh, a blessing, to end with prayer, and then maybe we can sing the blessing. Yes. Yeah, thank you, God, for the privilege to be here in the streets of Israel, of Tel Aviv, and to be light to Israel, as you are calling us, the, your light by the light that you reflect on us, Yeshua. And we bless your name, God. We lift up the name of Yeshua above every other name. Amen? Amen. There is no name that's even close to the name of Yeshua above every other name. So this is the, the name of the Jewish Messiah that came from this land, from Israel. And his name is spread all over the world. And that's the name that we worship here today. The name of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God that remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God that um, is sitting on his throne right now and he's in control of everything. He's in control of what is happening in Israel and what is happening all over the world. I want to end with an ironic blessing. The blessing that was the priest was blessing Israel with. And as you know, the one that accepted Yeshua as Messiah, we are also priests. He calls us priests. And we can sing this song, sing this blessing over Israel with the authority of priests. Because this is what Yeshua gives us. So let's sing the blessing over Tel Aviv, over all over the land. All over the land, you know, you know, the country, you know the, this country. So let's sing it all over to Jerusalem from here like an atomic bomb that will spread all over this land. It's, it's a little bit, the uh, atomic bomb is not real. Uh, <laughs> but thank you so much for being together with us worldwide. It was, we had a really a great time together, but there were also a lot of difficulties, but that's never a problem because when we worship Jesus, it's always good. You're always in a good place when we worship Yeshua, our savior, hallelujah. So thank you for also for blessing, worship on the streets with your partnership and with your financial blessing. And you know the way you can do it, it's here uh, on the right side of the screen. You can see it, it's the QR code with all the things around us. It's presencerevival.com slash donate. And for people in Europe and in Holland, in the Netherlands, you can go, and this is in Dutch, you can go to presence.nl slash ondersteunen. So thank you so much for staying with us also here in Israel. We bless the people of Tel Aviv. We pray for their city. So this is not like a sacred city. This is not like a sacred city. There's a lot going wrong, that's, that's reality in this city of Tel Aviv. But I'm always so glad that God calls his people a sacred people. Not because of who we are, not because of who this city is, but because of Yeshua, our Lord and Savior. Because of Adonai, our Lord. Because of Elohim, the El Elohim, the God who is above every other God. Because of Yahweh Jireh, the God who always provides. El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. So also, in your blessing, in your going, in your coming, there's the God who provides. He is with you. The God of more than enough, El Shaddai. So we worship Jesus in every place. Every place is suited to worship Jesus. So praise God. Thank you so much. Warm greetings here from Tel Aviv. From all the people here in Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv, hallelujah, praise the name of Yeshua. Bye bye and see you next Thursday.
אני אברך לך, אדוני וישמרך. יאר אדוני פניו אליך, ויחונך. יישא אדוני פניו אליך, וישם לך שלום. Everybody say, The Lord bless you.
Kadosh, 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 Ani rotze lizrot otcha. Kadosh, 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 Kadosh. Thank you. 